Hey, what's going on YouTube? Family, I want to talk to you guys today. I'm your host, Sigma Lenny. And this is Rules to the Game. Allure. Allure. So let's get into it. Allure or alluring. Or why is that important to rules to the game? Right? By definition, allure is the quality of being powerfully and mysteriously attractive and fascinating. Uh, just off the bat, you can actually see several examples how that symbolizes a sigma male, right? And a lot of people have this trait. Some people don't realize that they actually have this trait. And they kind of find out that why am I attracting so many opportunities whether it be in dating, business, wealth, and many other things, right? It's allure. Some people are just naturally alluring. People are drawn to the mysterious ways of how they just have and as far as their presence uh sometimes it could just simply be them being mysterious and that's very attractive to people especially to women for sure uh women sometimes don't like a large group of women don't really like the loud character right they like the guy that's rather mysterious the guy that shows up to the scene, looks at everyone and is kind of a observer. He's observing the environment. He's uh, observing the tone of the environment and he's able to place himself in a stance where he can basically prepare himself for whatever that environment entails whether it be an environment that consists of people who are being rather intelligent and talking, or whether it be a hostile environment, he can basically remain formless, which is a Bruce Lee saying, he can remain formless and adapt to that environment. Hence, at the same token, having so much power behind him that it can show through his work. It can show through things that he has achieved and that is alluring to people. Women are alert to that. Uh, it's kind of, uh, Jay-Z actually made a, a song I think it, I want to say it was in the Black Album uh, called The Allure. It was, he said a verse. He was like, um, I don't want to butcher it, but he said, uh, he said, I like, I think it was, I, I like The Allure. I got a thing for them big body Benzes. It does my senses. Yes, with the V dub engine. Basically, Benzes is alluring to him. Uh, there's some things about that car that is attractive to Jay-Z, right? Same thing with people, just in, in general public. There are many things that allure you. If you just kind of go in the past and kind of look at some things and, you know, realize, hey, what, what am I attracted to? And why am I attracted to that? That's where you can find out how to perfect that skill, because uh, alluring is is a skill as well. 
you can actually hone that skill to make yourself alluring to people. You can make yourself alluring, for instance, uh, let's talk about the, the alpha guy, right? So the alpha guy, he establishes himself within a network of people that are on certain levels, right? That is alluring to people. Is it like, like for instance, you're like, oh, you know, um, you know Chris Paul, or you know Steph Curry. You've taken pictures. Let's say your your social media, the only thing you post is a bunch of pictures with different famous people. You might not have a dime in your pocket, but people are alert to your page based off the emphasis of you having pictures with famous people. This is why uh, if you look at Instagram, you, you know what, let's... Uh, Let's talk about Elon Musk. He made a statement. I want to say it was on the, on the Joe Rogan show. And he was talking about Instagram. And he was like, you know, people look at pictures on there. And he said that people on there that are posting all these, you know, happy pictures. You see all these happy people. And they're living miserable lives. But he said the people that look at these people are like, well, I can't match up to that. So I'm basically going to, you know, end it all, right? Or be miserable, right? And in some cases, that is quite true. If uh, on social media, people post their very best, that is alluring. If you, if you post a bunch of negative stuff, right, about your life, because there are, because I'm going to talk about that as well on the negative side, how, how negativity is also alluring. But let's talk about the positive. If you're posting a lot of positive information, uh, people are alert to that as well. But negativity is also alluring, which you have to be very careful with that. Negativity, uh, it kind of goes with the same misery loves company, Right. If you post in a bunch of negativity, people are attracted to that as well. For instance, if we go back years ago, over a decade or more, really, if you really look at where it was then, when MySpace came out, when MySpace came out, there was a lot of positive information because people were using a platform to all to, to basically try to be someone, right? And have communications with many people globally, right? There wasn't a lot of uh, negative information or negative media to be posted on that platform. So the, uh, the environment, the society, when it came to that media, uh, common medium, people were a little a uh, little bit more happy than we have today people were inspired people were ambitious and they wanted to achieve big things and the community uh, the communications between people were also uh, a little bit more um, of a happy medium as well now you have social media content that's rather uh, negative right it's a lot of negative information and it's alluring so you'll have a wave of people gravitating to negative information but the drawback with that is is that you discredit your reputation when it comes to posting negative information on such a basis like that right so you got to be rather careful but the whole thing is, is that allure, alluring can also be a positive thing if you use it properly. Uh, just like, you know, what I was saying a little earlier with the alpha male, the alpha male, he have a group, a network. He also maybe drive a nice car, have jewelry, have nice clothes. All of these things are alluring, right? 
in the Sigma male, we realize that those are the things that people are drawn to. So we use that skill. Now, this is rules to the game, okay? And you can look this up anywhere. Sigma males, we like to be relaxed. We like uh, peace and tranquility. But like one of the 48 laws of power, basically do as they do, you know, in, in Rome, right? We realize that these are the prized possessions that people are drawn to. So in order for us to get to a place of peace and tranquility, we are going to have those things to use them as an allure to draw in what we need to get to the next level. Okay? That's how that works. A lot of people are like, oh, well, Sigma males, they're, you know, they're not really, you know, in fashion. No, that is not true at all. Okay? Just like I told you guys back in the other video where I explained the lone wolf. The lone wolf goes and captures its prey. It does what it, it does what it does on on its own and it and in its own way. It doesn't need to be told what to do, but it still gets the same goal done. So if these are prized possessions that other people are alert to, then we're going to uh, gain those things, use those prized possessions so we can get to the places that we need to go and fulfill the same objective. See, a lot of people get the two misconstrued between the whole alpha and, and, and the sigma concept. It's it's just all it really is, honestly, is alpha is a leader, an aggressive leader. A sigma is a passive aggressive leader, right? They're somebody who, whenever it calls, like whenever it's time for it and it calls, then a sigma will respond and show up as a leader figure. It has leader ship traits right and but it's in a mysterious way right that's why alluring is so important because if you're in, if you're alluring you can achieve so many things like a sigma can step into a room full of people and people can basically pinpoint like Hey, I don't know what this person has in, you know, in their pocket or in their, in, in, you know, in the back of their, uh, or under their sleeve, as they say, right? I don't know what they have under their sleeve because they're so quiet. They're quiet. They, they interact with people. They're not so, uh, they're not as introverted, right? Because a Sigma can be extroverted in certain environments, right? Do as they do in Rome, right? So when it calls time for it, the Sigma can be introverted, right? Uh, that's why, you know, like you'll hear some alpha say, oh, well, you know, they just made up, they made up uh, uh, this concept because these are people who lack people skills. No, that is not the case at all. See, that's why people really need to study what the Sigma entails. It is an actual uh, figurative trait. It's a personality type, right? It is not a person who's only introverted because think about it. If it was a person that was only introverted, how would they get anything done? If they don't like to be around uh, people, they don't like to talk to people, a Sigma would never get anything done, right? Uh, sigmas know when it's time to communicate. Just like 
the lone wolf. The lone wolf know what times to come back to the family and, and, and you know, gather around. But when it when it's ready to go and do business, it's going to go do business on its own. Right. So. That's what it's really about. Alluring. Become alluring. When you become alluring, as you know, basically in a previous video where I talked about influence, if you have the two together, you can be so much of a powerful individual that you will be able to read scenarios. You can orchestrate scenarios. Like, for instance, you got some of your uh, famous people, obviously, they are alluring through influence and they use that as a tool to be able to bring more of what they want to them without them putting in any extra effort. That's what it is. Now, with all of that being said, this is what this leads up to. When it comes to a woman, gentlemen, if you have the skill of being alluring, you will not have to put in so much effort that they will literally come to you. That's rules to the game. If you are alluring, women will come to you and you can orchestrate a situation and create a visual experience for that woman so she can drop her guard and be all into you. That's being alluring. All right, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. And I hope you guys end up using this very good skill to become alluring. Blessings.